Welcome to Managing Safety Self-Awareness. This course is about helping you meet your top priority as a supervisor, making your workplace safer. Our goal is to show you how personality contributes to workplace incidents and injuries, and how you as a leader can reduce incidents by managing safety self-awareness in yourself and those you supervise. There are four sections in the course. Understanding personality, human error and workplace incidents, managing safety risk factors, and the six dimensions of safety risk. Once you've completed the four sections, there'll be a brief wrap-up followed by a quiz to test your knowledge. After successfully completing the course, you will receive certification. Before continuing, you're going to complete a brief assessment designed to increase your safety self-awareness. The assessment will give you a picture of your own personality defaults so you can leverage your strengths, minimize risk factors, and target areas where you can develop and improve. The first step to creating safety self-awareness involves learning about the safety risks associated with our personality, how they affect safety on the job, what triggers us to engage in higher risk behaviors, what the consequences will be of continuing to engage in unsafe behaviors, and how safety risks can be replaced with safety strengths. The assessment uses your answers to generate a safety profile broken down into six personality dimensions that have been shown to be most strongly linked to incident causation. Resistant versus accommodating. Anxious versus calm. Impatient versus patient. Distractible versus focused. Impulsive versus cautious. And thrill-seeking versus apprehensive. On the pages that follow, We'll explore these six dimensions, see how you scored in each, and review some tips for managing safety risk factors in yourself and those you supervise. You ever seen someone excitable become a better listener? Or an irritable person become less confrontational? Change does happen. As we saw earlier, while we might not be able to change our personalities, we can change our behaviors and help other people change theirs through safety, self-awareness, self-monitoring, and coaching and mentoring.